Hi folks, I'm Steve Hindi for Showing Animals Respect and Kindness. Cockfighting is illegal throughout the United States and its territories. It is illegal by state law in all 50 states, and it is illegal by federal law. In Oklahoma specifically, cockfighting is a felony. On the morning of June 26th, 2022, I walked into the Atoka County Sheriff's Office to report that a cockfight was setting up at the Circle B Ranch outside of Stringtown, Oklahoma. We had video documentation of people at that location to back up our claim, but the police weren't very interested. The response of the personnel at the Sheriff's Office was very lukewarm, which is interesting given that cockfighting is a felony in Oklahoma. Given the lackluster police response, the Shark Team returned to the area of the Circle B and recorded more drone video proving that this was now an active cockfight and that there were lots of people involved in committing felonies. We returned to the Atoka County Sheriff's Office with our evidence. This time, Deputy Kevin Anderson took notice. He even took a screenshot showing all those cars at the cockfight and said he was headed out that way. We watched as Deputy Anderson headed out toward the cockfight, roughly a half hour away, and followed behind from a distance. We made a turn off the main highway to access the road that would take us to the cockfight property. At any other time, traffic would be very sparse on this road, but we were greeted by a long line of dozens and dozens of vehicles. That meant only one thing. The police had tipped off the cockfighters, and the animal abusers were on the run, like the cowards they are. We put up a drone to confirm our suspicions, and indeed, the place was empty except for the trailers they keep on the property as cockhouses. But the full impact of the police betrayal became clear when one shark investigator was approached and then attacked by a thug from the cockfight pit. Surveillance cameras recorded part of that incident. The police had not only warned the cockfighters that we were close, they also told them we had drones, so the criminal cockfighters knew what they were looking for. Investigator Mike Kabliska was driving on public property when he was approached by a white Ford Super Duty pickup, which tried to cut him off. He was then approached by Robert Ray Bachman, who runs the cockfight pit. Bachman tried to pull Mike from his vehicle, but Mike was belted in. Mike hit the gas, and Bachman and his accomplice were lost in a cloud of dust. Fortunately, Mike was uninjured. There are a lot of disturbing facts to this story. The police obviously had prior knowledge about the existence of the illegal cockfight pit. They knew about a criminal operation involving felony animal abuse, and it is well established that cockfighting is connected to drug trafficking as well as weapons trafficking and prostitution. The police knew who to contact, Robert Ray Bachman. The police told Bachman what to look for, a drone operator. We actually saw thugs from the cockfight pit searching the area for us. And of course, Bachman found Mike. Since Deputy Kevin Anderson was the individual I spoke with on June 26th, the day of the cockfight, I tried to call him to discuss the information leak. I tried to call him numerous times. Is uh, Deputy Kevin Anderson on tonight? Can I take a message? Sure, Is Deputy Anderson available, please? He is not in the office. He's out on the stage. Can I take a number, please? Sheriff's office. Is Deputy Kevin Anderson available? Um, he is actually on a call currently. Deputy Kevin Anderson has not responded to my numerous calls. Not once. I sent an email to Atoka County Sheriff Tony Head and he also did not respond. I should also mention that about a year earlier, Shark exposed another cockfight pit in the area, just a few miles away. It was run by a cockfighter named Montana Dodd. We had called the Atoka County Sheriff's Office and had the same experience of the cockfighters getting tipped off, so there were no arrests. And who was the deputy we talked to in the 2021 incident a year ago? It was Deputy Anderson. Regarding Mike's assailant, Robert Ray Bachman, the Atoka County Sheriff's Office says he's a member of the Choctaw Nation, and so they've turned the case over to them. But the Choctaws say they can't find the case. 
We filed a Freedom of Information request to obtain records, and I sent an email to Atoka County Sheriff Tony Head calling for his leadership to get to the bottom of an ugly story of police corruption. But that's when an already screwed up story really went off the rails. Thanks to some investigative digging by Beth and Merritt Clifton, who run a blog called Animals 24-7. The Cliftons looked at Sheriff Head's Facebook page and found some very interesting names on the sheriff's friend list. Like Montana Dodd, the cockfighter whose pit Shark exposed in 2021, and Robert Bachman, who runs the pit we just exposed, and who also attacked my associate, shark investigator Mike Kabliska, and Kim Bachman, who owns the cockfighting property, and last but not least, Justin Humphrey, an Oklahoma state representative who's also a bag man for cockfighters and is trying to downgrade the crime of cockfighting in his state. What a disturbing and disgusting cast of characters. It is said that a person is known by the company they keep. That says a lot about Atoka County Sheriff Tony Head, and none of it is good. At this point, it's impossible to say exactly where the corruption starts or ends, but something sure as hell stinks in Atoka County, Oklahoma. Stay tuned, and we will keep you informed about developments as we stay on top of this disturbing case. I'm Steve Hindy for showing animals respect and kindness. And regardless of police who protect felony criminal animal abuse, we are going to crush cockfight. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel to see more of our investigations and learn what you can do to help shark help animals. If you'd like to support shark directly and gain access to exclusive content, please consider sponsoring us on Patreon.